اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم السلام عليكم Welcome back to the 10th episode of the Simple RYQ Surah Al-Mulk, a short series brought to you by tvq.academy, your borderless school of the Quran. If you are seeing this for the first time, in the Simple RYQ Surah Al-Mulk series, we are learning Surah Al-Mulk from as many angles as possible. If you are on YouTube, kindly check this playlist to see the previous episodes. However, if you are on Facebook, you can follow the Simply RYQ Surah Al-Mulk playlist on the tvq.academy page to see the previous episodes. In this episode, we are reflecting upon the meaning of verses number 18 and 19, inshallah. So, let's do this. Verses number 18 and 19 represent theme number 6, which we discussed in episode number 4 of this series. As Muslims, and as followers of the truth who strive to be on the path. And for that matter, we are constant in asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the right path for the minimum of 17 times every other day. For these people, it is important to keep reminding ourselves that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought us to this existence for a noble purpose. In order to appreciate that ultimate and noble purpose, he has shown us all the signs we need to be convinced that he is the sustainer of this existence and that he is one. And that the messages brought forth by his messengers are from him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, just like we have among us today some who have chosen to belie the truth, there were similarly some others who have chosen to belie the truth at the time of the revelation of this surah. Likewise, there were beliers among earlier generations and nations even before them. And none of them was able to withstand the consequences of their choice to belie. For that Allah says in verse number 18, وَلَقَدْ كَذَّبَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ فَكَيْفَ كَانَ نَكِيرٌ And certainly those before them belied the truth. Then how terrible was my disapproval of them. Meaning how painful was the price they had to pay for their choice to belie and deny the truth. Next, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then moves on and makes mention of how majestically he created birds that fly in beautiful manner in the skies above us. Amazingly, these creatures fly without falling simply because the one holding them from falling is none other than the Ar-Rahman, the merciful. For that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in verse number 19, أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا إِلَى الطَّيْرِ فَوْقَهُمْ صَافَّاتٍ وَيَقَبِضٍ مَا يُمْسِكُهُنَّ إِلَّا الرَّحْمَانِ إِنَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ بَصِيرٍ Do they not see the birds above them spreading and closing their wings? None except the Ar-Rahman, the merciful, holds them from falling. Certainly he sees all things. Well, it is not a secret that the designs and inventions of aeroplanes that carried tons and tons of weight were inspired by the flying birds. Yes, the birds that we see flying over us. A bird that is made of flesh and blood, just like you and, and me. Imagine how sophisticated the cockpit of an aeroplane is, yet it needs to be fueled serviced and controlled by human in a way or another before it functions properly. Pause for a while and think of how much we need in order to invent and then think of how much we need to supply for our invention to fly, the invention of the aeroplanes. However, the little or the, even the giant bird flies effortlessly. It needs absolutely nothing, nothing other than oxygen, the same oxygen which 
is shared equally between all creatures of the Ar-Rahman. Subhanallah. Among other lessons, verses number 18 and 19 teach us the following. Verse number 18 makes it clear to us that all nations have their set of infidels, criminals, beliars, and defiant towards Allah. This is not because they are powerful. It is rather because Allah is a Rahman. He gives them enough time. He gives them ample time, enough that they can repent, get back to the path, if they so choose. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created animals and subjected them to the use and benefit of man. Man is permitted to take meat for consumption from some, some of the animals. And he is permitted to use some for his riding and moving purposes. This alone is a sign that indicates to Allah, the one, the creator, the fashioner, the designer, and the one who is capable of everything to be continued in the next episode inshallah so stay tuned if you have already subscribed to the channel subscribe if you haven't already done so either way don't forget to hit the like button as this will help the video to reach more people inshallah don't like the video no problem hit the dislike button twice twice please in the meantime here is a recitation of suratul mulk if you happen to appreciate the approach followed in reciting the surah, you can follow this link shown on the screen to download the Quran Al-Fajr app to listen to the entire Quran following the same style of recitation. It aims to make digesting the Quran easier even for those who don't understand it when reading it or when listening to it. Until the next episode. I leave you in Allah's protection. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Iqra wa rabbuka al-akram alladhi allama bilqalam allama al-insana ma lam ya'lam.